IS 12 looks at income taxes and there are two key definitions we need to bear in mind when we look at this. The first and the simplest is current tax. And current tax is simply what you think you owe the authorities based on the current year profit. And when you do this, you record an expense and you record a liability with the amount you think you owe. The more complex area relates to deferred tax. Now deferred tax looks at future tax implications of things you've already accounted for in your financial statements. And because of that, it's reasonably controversial because you're not getting a tax relief yet or you're not paying additional tax yet. But it's accounting for that knowing it will happen in the future based on something you've already recorded. Now as an example, let's say a company's being sued for a million pounds. So they put in an expense of a million pounds and a provision for a million pounds, knowing they're likely to lose the court case. Well, in that case, they're probably going to get tax relief, but the tax rules might say you only get that relief when you actually settle the case, so when you pay for it. So what you would have is in year one, an expense of a million, and let's say in year two it's settled, then you'd have a tax relief. So you've got an expense in one period, but the tax relief in a different period. And the point of deferred tax is to try and bring those two things together. And so what we do is we create a deferred tax asset in this case. So we debit an asset, say of 20%, so 200,000, and you would credit your tax expense line of 200,000 to say, we have an expense, but we will get tax relief, but it's not part of current tax. It's not gonna reduce this year's tax bill, but it's actually going to reduce our tax bill in the future. So in the statement of financial position, deferred tax assets and liabilities need to be shown separately from current tax because they are estimates of future tax amounts. Whereas the current tax liability is how much the business is expecting to pay within the next period.